favorites in the AFC, but overall, San Francisco number one for the Super Bowl. Then the Ravens, Cowboys, Chiefs, and Bills, who might not even make the playoffs. And then your Eagles, bro. Which who is, might as well not make the playoffs. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. One of the worst defenses in the league in yeah. any event. I'll just show Do this. Ravens we'll deserve to be Super Bowl favorites? Absolutely. Like, look, I'm not saying they're a shoe in although they are now my pick to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, we earlier I picked them to get to the end. Way to go on a Well, hold on. I have, but I had picked them when I think everybody else on this show didn't think they make the playoffs. You I did. got them going to the Super Bowl. Now I got them beating the Eagles in the Super Bowl. Such Eagles a weird return. thing to Eagles switch your pick over the, from the, to abandon. If I just you, may, yeah. you're abandoning the Eagles, who you've you pimped all. Sorry, <laughs> who you promoted all year long, and but now you're like, but they're still going to be well, in the Super just, Bowl. Uh, but it's it's fine. just not. So Baltimore, not, but you now believe in Baltimore. In That's fine. Go ahead. Um, but <laughs> they got look. Even if you, they should be the favorite coach. They're, I mean, they blasted the Niners. <laughs> they play. Just, you yeah. know, yeah. they blast. And they have the same Four path. division both favorites. One seeds. Both one seeds. Four division uh, leaders they've played. Miami, the Niners, Jacksonville, Detroit. They beat them by an average of 25 points. Like, what? there's nothing more they need to do. And I think when you look at them, we've always looked at Lamar's passing as a weakness. OBJ, I know he, he was playing well for a stretch, then kind of disappeared. Obviously had the big catch yesterday. I, I just think he, you know, we saw what he did in the playoffs a few years ago. I think he could be good for them yeah. in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Zay Flowers is the man. And they got a run game. I don't care who the running back is. They're going to run the ball well. Defense is best in the league. They've, they've checked all the boxes to, at the very least, be number one, the favorite. All right? I'm not that. saying it's a guarantee, but they should be Yeah, they, they, they should definitely be the favorite. To beat the two teams they did the way that they did, to have Lamar healthy, that's, that's another huge component this late in the season. And then with Odell, I've been as, as critical of Odell as anybody. For and years. Of the signing. But this is the best time in the world to have Odell. And this is where Odell can show out. Mm -hmm. When you get to those playoff games, it's, it's a different, it's a different uh, whole scenario. And I, I could see him being very effective mm. in, in the playoffs. I'd say the Better thing that NBS? I'm most concerned about is if they don't play this weekend, okay, they don't play Lamar this weekend. <laughs> well, I they topic. don't play him the next weekend. Yeah. And it's always a, a, the ongoing uh, debate of rust versus rest. <laughs> and a lot it. of really good teams have lost because right. they've sat guys. And what happened to Baltimore at the start of the season? They didn't start right. very well. They were, I think, three and two. Yeah. So do they go back? The, you know, can they just – Or the – Why would you just – Would you pl just well, play it, it's, it's such a It's such a difficult thing because if you play him and he gets hurt – that that and you're playing Pittsburgh, whose oh, playoff yeah, yeah, life is right. on the line. You have a lot of reasons it's not, be a to, tough play, game not anyway. to play. Yeah. Him. But if it, you don't play him, you have two weeks off. Now yeah. does the car start up where it was, right. or do you have Which to go is, through all the? And, know, and, and we've legit. seen it over time where teams get blown up because they had too much time off. Mm. And and listen, Brew is correct, and it's totally fair in him, you know, reminding America three to four times a week, if not a show, that I picked the Ravens to miss the playoffs. <laughs> um, however, it's what is true. true is, and I think you'll vouch for me on this, this offseason – I was as strong of a proponent of Lamar getting his money and that what was going yep. on was outrageous. Yep. I just didn't think that the offensive change was smart, and I thought the AFC North was going to be the toughest division in football. The Which second part is. ended up being Drew. The first part I was wrong about, he's going to win league MVP. Uh, so I, you know, I really like Lamar Jackson and – when we did in the offseason, like, what's the – when we were looking at the Chiefs as the prohibitive favorites, and it was like, if somebody beats the Chiefs, who would it be? Yeah. The team we kicked around a lot was the Ravens because a peak Lamar game – this is now the third time in his career he's had a perfect passer rating and more touchdowns than incompletions in a game. The last three times for anyone to do this was oh, Lamar wow, Jackson. That, yeah. it, and so his apex games you feel helpless, which is why this is such a fascinating spot. Because if he goes on and they go to the Super Bowl, then if, if, if I am running the New England Patriots, the New York Jets, or the Pittsburgh Steelers, if I'm the owner, I'm calling in my people and be like, so we didn't even call this guy, huh? Right. We didn't even, even if it was, the Ravens are going to match. It's weird. Then it's okay, but we're competing with them. Yep. So make them match a, a contract they don't want. Contract. And if it doesn't come through, then man, and I feel badly for Lamar in this regard, but if they lose in round one like they did the last time they were the one seed when they looked like a ball rolling downhill that was unstoppable, then no matter what Lamar does in the, in, 
the future in the regular season, no one will care until you see him in the postseason. Oh, like no one, and people can say I was yeah. the same for Peyton Manning to a degree, but Peyton Manning's fourth playoff game, he had a perfect passer rating and threw for 300 yards and five touchdowns. His fifth playoff game, he damn near did the same thing. Like he had already gotten some playoff wins. Lamar's, Lamar's <clears throat> all four of his postseason games has had trouble throwing the ball, and now he's going to be MVP for how well he's thrown the ball this year. So what about if he plays really well? It's hard to imagine him playing really well and they lose, but what if that I don't think, As the one seed at home, no. I don't yeah. think it'll it matter. Would, I think it'll remember, remember, yeah. It's going to be like that. I don't Dak. think it'll happen because it'll be one thing. So it's like, too. ah, Dak stepped out of bounds. It'll be one yeah. thing. So, Just quickly before we go, because yeah. is, this is super macro, but we talked about it last week, so I want to get your take on it. If he's the MVP, so now he's got two MVPs, did Lamar just go to the Hall of Fame this week? Uh, well, every two-time MVP in league history is in. Uh, and so I, I, it would be very, very difficult to see a scenario where he's not a Hall of Famer if he's a two-time MVP. Be sick if he said that in the press conference. Like, now I'm in the Hall of Fame, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, look, look at the numbers. I'm going to be the MVP. Uh, Brew has the Eagles going to the Super Bowl, not winning. Yeah, he's abandoned them. Yeah. Partially. Uh, they've lost four like of their last five. Like, putting your kid five. up for adoption. I mean, like, I want to see him on the weekend. Defense huh? has gone from bad to worse <laughs> as Kyler engineers a touchdown drive Every single time he had the ball in the second half. Coach, are you ready to write Philadelphia off? It's going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's his call. Yeah. That's a, he, and, yes, and this, call. <laughs> this reminds me of the Steelers in, in 2020. Remember they started? 11-0. and 0. Yeah, 11-0. and 0, And then they it, it's that same exact record. As, as what the Eagles have, that's the way they finished the season. It was 12-4, and four, mm-hmm. uh, I think, is, is the record they lost in the first mm-hmm. round. And that's, that's what it feels like. And as much as everybody's saying, we've got to stick together, we've got to, we've got to find a way through this, we've got to get better quickly, it's not like they haven't been working on these problems. And They've what, been saying that all year. It, well, yeah, <laughs> but much. it's, it's, easier, winning, it's right? a lot easier to say that when you're winning games. Now when you're going through it and you've already made a coaching change, and you and you don't get the you don't get the burst from that change that you hoped you get. Now everybody in the locker room, it, it's a function of what's the next problem. And they haven't gone through a lot of adversity with this coach. So how well is he going to handle navigating the team through that? And it doesn't. How well look is like he going to handle adversity at all? The guy, the, listen. If there's such a thing as a front running coach, it's this guy. Oh. It just is. <laughs> he, he, his quarterback, even though his quarterback has regressed some this year, sure. and macro, the concern for Philly is, if we're being honest, the concern for Philly macro is how good is Jalen Hurts really? He's that, hurt, though, don't that, you Well, that, the, that, the question well, is how hurt is he? Okay, I mean, and yeah, it's not right. an excuse, Well, you know what? It, it's not only is it not – I, I actually don't think that's an excuse. I think it can be an explanation. But yeah, then, right. you know what, Philly? Stop calling – all of these quarterback-driven runs and tush pushes. If your quarter of a billion dollar quarterback's hurt, that's on you. Like the, but the, the tush push and, isn't why he's injured. It can't be like okay. As wild, I'm gonna use a wild line. Yeah. If I if I went to my orthopedist and was like, hey, I'm dealing with a knee injury, and he's like, all right, let, let me, me give you a good, up let you. me give you a recommendation. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have three 250 plus pounders shove you in the back while five 250 plus pounders <laughs> try to take your head off. We think that'll help quicken the healing. Of course not. Yeah. But like go, three times go, a this week. This is just what we talk about all the time. You can't. You can't rely on one thing and and be really happy with the results, which is right. Jalen Hurts as a runner or Lamar Jackson as a runner, and then suddenly say, "Well, he might get hurt." Yeah, no, he might I, get I hurt. I agree with that. But that's, that's that's what's going to happen it, when you do that. But the micro and the reason Brew should fully abandon them for his beloved Brock Purdy as he's <laughs> wanted to. <laughs> you've it, already it, it, partially look, abandoned. Them. I do not want to sit here and as great as the Niners have looked and be like, "Oh, yeah, I got the Niners." Why not? Why? You that's want the job. to. Okay. Yeah, that's the you, you, that, well, you did it. I know. Yes. <laughs> you're supposed to be the no, facts over the feelings guy. I am sticking. Okay. I, I'm not it's, ten toes like bro. You're with not. Brand. I'm staying bro, with. I'm two. It out. I'm <laughs> two toes down. Okay. But those are toes. Bro, look at their defensive numbers <laughs> and tell me how they're going to fix it. They're horrible. How are they going to? How are they going to fix it when they they don't the the what is this? Go ahead. Toes. He's putting his toes. No, this. What's that? Punchers change. Oh, I thought that was the toes. Hold on. Again. Again. They've beaten some very good teams this season. Kansas yeah. City, Dallas, Miami. That wasn't that long ago. They beat Buffalo, right? Beat Buffalo, yeah. yeah. They beat some good teams. 
I, I think a big problem is, and defensively, obviously, Jalen, last year, 15 games, 760 yards rushing. We know that was a big part of their mm -hmm. identity. This year, in 16 games, one more, he's got 600 yards rushing. So, that's, I think, been a huge issue for them. Obviously, the defense is, but they just can't control the time of possession, Coach, well, and they don't have the same identity without him being a really big-time runner. One of the things that's happened since Matt's taken over, and, and actually they've improved in most defense categories since he's taken over, except one key category, which is stopping the run. So they went from 8th stopping the run to 28th stopping the run with the change. So they're not stopping the run very well, and they're not running the ball very well. And those two things combined, where the Eagles were the lead right. leaders, it, leaders in, in time of possession, now it's, I, it's flopping. I've, I've got another one since Patricia took over than I could add. Uh, stopping game-winning drives by mediocre or tiny quarterbacks. Oh, I mean, you let Drew Locke go 92 <laughs> yards. You let Kyler go length of field. You almost let Tyrod Taylor do it to you. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Hey, what are we Dusty, talking about? Super Bowl hangover. Yeah. Told you. Oh, there it is. It's like it's one of those hangovers. You're like, I feel okay. Then it like, like you this <laughs> like, Oh my uh, god! Just got me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.